Hebrew Traditions by Will, Mary Catherine, and David. The Hebrews were a group of Jewish people who worshipped Judaism, meaning they believed in one God. This was called monotheism. People who disliked the Jews were known as Gentiles. In 1950 BCE, Abram, who lived near Ur, moved with the Hebrews in their herds of sheep and goats to the land of Canaan, also known as Phoenicia. This was known as Abram's journey. The long journey to Canaan, which is in Egypt, never really paid off because shortly after their arrival, a famine caused them to have a diaspora and they had to leave Canaan. A man named Moses led the Hebrews out of Egypt to the Sinai Desert. This voyage was known as Exodus. When in the Sinai Desert, the Hebrews had to leave once again. Moses led them to Mount Sinai. Struggle on the mountain and words from Yahweh, or God, caused them to move for the last time. Yahweh said that he would help them, but only if they would renew the covenant and abide the Ten Commandments, which focused on right and wrong. They ended up being led by led to Israel by David. And when they arrived, they, they started fresh. They rewrote the Ten Commandments, which were obeyed by everyone of this time and all of the upcoming generations or their descendants years later. They also built the Jewish temple, which is where they would pray on a day called Sabbath, which is where they rested and had no work. They also started to create holidays and items used on these holidays like the dreidel, kippah, or the menorah. The Hebrews also wrote many stories that were gathered in the Talmud. This was the collection of ancient Jews, Jewish writing that interpret the laws of the Torah. The Torah was a religious book that included five sections of them, being the Ten Commandments. And they established a cultural symbol, also known as David's Star. The Hebrews created many traditions while living in Israel, such as sacrifice, which was when they slaughtered an animal as a way to honor a god. They also had jobs like a rabbi or a prophet. Rabbis were religious teachers who studied and taught the Jewish law. A prophet was a person who speaks for God to other people. After many years of living this way, the Hebrews began to start having some problems that the prophet noticed. The, prof the prophet warned the Hebrews and addressed it that Yahweh will punish them if things aren't fixed. But they couldn't manage to overcome the, these problems. So sure enough, Israel was conquered by powerful neighbors. The Hebrews were forced to Babylonia where they maintained most of their traditions, but not sadly at all. After 70 years of Babylonian life, the Hebrews finally returned home to Israel where they rebuilt the temple and rewrote the Torah and went back to all of their old traditions. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.